Polish immigration has long been a part of Dunedin's rich culture. That history is being celebrated by the Polish Heritage of Otago and Southland Charitable Trust with a green and white Christmas. So part of the exhibition, it shows the Polish uh, Christmas tree background photographs of Poland in the snow. The other part of the exhibition is the barbecues and the Santas running on the beaches uh, and having a fun as the summertime. In 1872, the New Zealand government embarked on a public works program to develop the country's infrastructure, including a recruitment drive for immigrants. Many were Polish who arrived here in Otago to start working on the railway. An initial group of just over 100 arrived on the immigrant ship Palmerston just before Christmas. They went to a quarantine island and they were released from quarantine island on the Christmas day, 1872. So the connection of the Polish and New Zealand Christmas is the first Polish settlers actually arrived in New Zealand on the Christmas day. Well, it, to start with, was obviously an extreme surprise uh, to uh, Polish people uh, that uh, you can celebrate Christmas in the middle of the summer uh, on the beaches and, and, uh, and having a completely different. People like Polish migrant Sislawa Panik have been busy preparing with these handmade Christmas decorations and these beautiful examples of tatting. Now based in Omaru, in 1944 Panik emigrated to New Zealand as an 11-year-old from a Polish orphanage in Siberia. I think it was 11,000 people were deported by 110 trains all in one day and night more or less. It was freezing cold, minus 32 degrees, you know, hole in the wall of the carriage for mm. a year and a bit of light, and a hole in the floor, as you know, toilet trees, and that's about it, so the train was moving, it just got the draft and all, besides having the freezing weather. How did you survive going, travelling on a train oh. with a hole coming through oh, in the deep dark Siberia, going travelling oh, no, through? Don't ask me, I think the Lord wasn't ready for me. It was then Prime Minister Peter Fraser who extended an invitation welcoming migrant children to New Zealand shores. Panik credits God with helping her through the pain of losing four members of her family within two months and seven within under two years. The memories of her homeland and those she's lost makes her 73rd Christmas in New Zealand and the faith she still carries even more significant. Roselle Le Bone, The South Today.